Devastating earthquakes, scorching volcanoes, crushing hurricanes and sweeping floods. The world seems to be a rolling natural disaster recently. Earthquakes alone are up six times on last year. Some scientists say it's cyclical, but there are other theories. The first is solar and lunar activity. On March the 9th, NASA reported a powerful solar flare. It's a bit like the sun burping, boiling hot gases on air. Ten days later, the moon was at its closest to the Earth for nearly two decades. The next day, Japan was hit by the third largest earthquake ever recorded. And the magnetic pole is moving. Some say this is putting pressure on the world's tectonic plates. Those are the large puzzle pieces that make up the Earth's crust. And we all know the ice caps are melting. The weight of blocks shifting around the Earth's crust may actually be enough to kick the tectonic movements off balance. Gas fracking is something you might not know about. It is a technique for finding natural gas by pumping water and chemicals into the ground at pressure to crack the rocks apart. Small vibrations that might be causing larger ones. Piers Corbin is the founder of weatheraction.com. He joins me now live from London. Which theory do you buy into? Well, we found there is a very important solar lunar combined interactions. Uh, which do trigger earthquakes and uh, tornado and thunderstorm events. And we've been very successful in using our ideas to predict these. Uh, things such as the closeness of the moon to the earth are not actually the big deal. The big deal is how the moon interrupts with the rush of particles from the sun, which is called the solar wind. So we have to be able to predict both the particles from the sun and understand what the moon is going to do to them. And does it frighten you being example, able to, to predict, predict it and the, having uh, this kind of knowledge swarm when next uh, an earthquake is likely to happen? Well, we don't know where they're going to happen, but we did predict, for example, that uh, May the 31st to June the 5th would see more seismic activity. And, of course, we had the triggering of the uh, volcano chain in Chile then. And this period now, the 13th to 15th, we've got another such, uh, such period. And, uh, and in fact, the uh, Chile volcano has gone up again. And there's going to be a mo more serious events between the 27th of June and the 2nd of July. And those will be very dangerous events. Uh, earthquakes, tornadoes, uh, very major thunderstorms. What do you like do that. with this sort of knowledge? I mean, do you, do you pass it on to governments concerned? Do you, do you tell them that this is what's likely well, we to do, happen? What but, they should but prepare generally for? They're, we do uh, inform governments. We inform the American government of big blizzards would come, but they ignored us completely because they prefer to believe in other things like uh, CO2 driving everything, which of course is complete nonsense. But we will be hopefully having a conference in the autumn where we talk a bit more about practical application of severe event warnings. Okay, so you believe it's a natural reaction to what's happening in the world. What about man-made well, activities. We, don't believe it. we know it is. Okay, we you know, know it is. is do do man-made activities play any role at all? Well, you mean like carbon dioxide? No, carbon dioxide does no Okay, effect and this gas whatsoever. fracking that we've In been fact, talking the, about. The weather is the, w the weather drives carbon dioxide, not the other way around. Okay, what about drilling for Climate gas? Climate drives CO2 levels. Pardon? What about drilling uh, well, for gas? In it, sure. If you do that in certain areas, then obviously that can lead to earthquakes and, and local problems. Uh, but that's like, uh, you, you know, uh, kind of a f physical direct effect in, in, in uh, quite a small region. But if you drill a lot of gas out, uh, so with coal mining, you will get substance and so forth. So it's all in the hands of nature, is it? Well, uh, substance isn't, because if you <laughs> if okay. you undermine a house, it will fall down. Okay, Piers Corbin, thanks very much for talking to us. Thank you. Now,